Today, we're going under the hood to put together one of the most beautiful cameras in the world. Okay, for any of us that ever play with camera, we all know there is one brand out there. There is one camera system that we all aspire to. It is a dream camera for most of us who are cinematographers, and that is the Airy system of cameras. And today, I am taking the newest RE system out there. This is, look at this beautiful thing right here. This is the Alexa Mini LLF. It is the newest brand here in the RE brand. And what I wanted to do was take a little time today to show you how to put it together. One of the amazing things about the Ari is just how easy and simple they are. Now, this is an Alexa Mini LF. Now, what does the LF stand for? Stars for large format. Now, a large format means that the sensor on this camera, you get the entire sensor as you do it. Uh, most traditional cinema cameras have been in Super 35, but now what's happening is you're seeing an amazing shift in the cinematic world to full frame sensors. And full frame sensors are, they're an artistic decision, but they're actually something that is wonderful because in a full frame sensor, if you use a 35 millimeter lens, it actually is 35 millimeters. There's no conversion factor, there's nothing like that. So it's really, really nice. The other thing that it does is it basically has, the depth of field registers different because of the focal flange range from the lens to the sensor. So what that means is that you get that beautiful shallow depth of field. And it's just a natural inherent part of a full frame cinema camera. Now I've been a photographer for several years and I only use full frame photography cameras because I love the look of a full frame sensor. So for me as a visual artist, having the ability now to get full frame on video is just an unparalleled creative thing that I'm so excited about. Now I was very, very lucky uh, I have some friends at New East Rental. They actually got an Alexa Mini LF and they agreed to let me play with it. And what I wanted to do was to take it out there because this is such a new camera. And I know there's a lot of production teams out there that have never gotten a chance to play with the Alexa Mini LF or they're aspiring to. And what I want to do to show you today, even though this camera has arguably the best image quality you will find on any cinema camera in the world, it's also extremely accessible. It's a very, very easy camera to use. And what I wanna do is just show you, if you're thinking about getting an Alexa Mini LF for your production, how easy it is to put together and just how fast you can get shooting with it. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna to put together a little time lapse. I'll set a camera up here, I'll put a timer up, and I'm just gonna show you just how fast you can put one of these things together if you need to from a set, literally from nothing but a tripod. And let's go check it out and see what it looks like. Pretty fast, huh? Less than a minute and a half to put an RE Alexa Mini LF together. And that includes with a follow focus system. Now, let's be honest. I did not put a monitor on there. That would probably have taken another 30, 40 seconds. But it's just absolutely amazing. Think about it, guys. This is one of the premier cinema cameras in the world. Roger Deakins used this camera to shoot 1917 and won the Academy Award for its best cinematography. You can take this camera and set it up, worst case scenario, in less than five minutes. It's just an absolute, that's what makes Ari so amazing. They're so fast, they're so easy to use. Even though they're beautiful, they're not pretentious. They're made to use, they're made to be done right. So what I wanna do today, we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this Alexa Mini LF from scratch, put it together with you, show you how to do it so you kind of can see how it goes together. So, the first thing you have, is the body. Now, look at that. That is the total body of the Alexa Mini LF. This thing is, if you've ever seen normal cinema cameras, this thing is so compact. And actually, this is kind of the default RE cage that comes with the Alexa LF. You can actually take this cage out and make it even smaller. That would be something if you need gimbal work, if you want on a drone, you can give it even smaller. This thing is awesome. It can get in super tight spaces. And even now with it, with the cage, it's really not bad. This is not that much bigger than a Canon C500 uh, if you put the extender on there. So it's a really, really good, comfortable, easy thing to use. You can use an easy rig with this, no problem, and kind of go all day with it, so it's great. So the cage is there. I'm just gonna set it in right here. 
into the, into the sticks, lock it in, and there you go. That's our basic system. So, first thing you wanna do is take a battery system. Now, the Alexa Mini LF is actually an amazing system from Ari because this kind of represents a future generational shift in the way the cameras are gonna go from Ari. And the good thing about Ari is Ari is such an industry leader in, in the standard that they kind of set the tone and other people follow. The battery system's new. They do have something called a B-mount battery system that can power some of the power-hungry components of the LF. But the great news is you don't have to use the B-mount. They have converters. You can use any mount system you have. If you have gold mounts like this, if you have B-mounts, you can get a converter, put it on there, and be good to go. It's very, very simple to use. So we'll slip on our gold mount, pop, we're good to go. Now that brings me to the next component of the Alexa Mini. Now, if you've used the Alex, the traditional Alexa Mini, or even um, any of the Alexa, any of them, any of the Alexas, one of the things that I always thought was a drawback on the earlier Alexas was they are beautiful cameras, beautiful sensors, but they actually had terrible EVFs. Uh, they're really low resolution, they really weren't that good. Not what you would expect on a camera that is this high end. The good news is with the Mini LF, they have updated their EVF. And this is the EVF2. It's got an HD OLED screen, really, really nice resolution. Uh, so much better, so much easier to work with and go off. So that's definitely a perk here. Okay, you just take it, 19 millimeter rods, you just slip them right on. They just pop right in there. Super, super easy. If you've ever used any rod system, you'll know exactly how to work this. The EVF has uh, just a really simple mount right there. As you can see, there is a mount right here that you can trigger right on. We'll just go ahead, put that there, and we'll slip it right on. And boom, it's that easy. Lock it in, and you have an EVF. Super, super simple. And you can lock it in and do it as you need. The great thing is, just like any good EVF, you can use it. Now, another good thing about them is you take this cable here, and Ari actually re-engineered their cables for the Mini LF. So they're actually much, much sturdier and less prone to breaking and not quite as finicky as some of the older Ari cables. So these cables are nice. They're sturdy, super easy to do. What you do, you have a plug right here. And so what we can do is we can just take it and insert it. Pop it in. And then we'll take it from this way. It connects right here. There's a viewfinder button or viewfinder cord placement right there. We'll take it here, pop it in. And it's that easy. It just, it just pops right in. It's really, really nice. Just how convenient and simple that is. Now, that brings us now to the next part of the camera that is a new part of the camera that's actually really, really awesome. And that is the mount system of our camera. The Ari Alexa uh, LF and the Mini LF have introduced something called the LPL system. Now the PL system is the traditional cinema mount that you all are well familiar with, have used for years. Now, Ari actually created the PL system. They're the ones that created it. And what's happened now is with the advent of full frame cinema, what was happening is, because the sensor is bigger, the old LPLs that were made for a much smaller Super 35 sensor are now causing vignetting and fringing around the edge of the sensor. So Ari, to stay ahead of the game, created a new system called the LPL mount. Now, the main difference, and you can kind of see it here, I'll put it in here, uh, a PL mount has two ears on it, whereas the LPL has three. If you've ever used a PL system, guys, it works exactly the same. It just hooks in there and it's really great. The other good thing about this is that every Alexa Mini LF that comes out, as well as the L regular LF, all come with PL to LPL adapters. That means if you have PL glass, you can still use it. It is not a problem. It, 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 they come with every package you'll ever get. So you can still use your old glass if you like it, but now this is kind of the way cinema glass is going to be going in the future. And this is just one of those great things that Ari has innovated with. So to put it on there, it's the exact same thing. 
I just move it. I can pop it off. I'm gonna pull this toward me so I have it a little bit here. I have the beautiful RE Signature Prime 35 millimeter, uh, absolutely gorgeous lens. These are LPLs. They are made for the LPL mount. You just put them right in here. Just like any mount, you pop it in, you lock it in like that, like a PL mount, right? And there you go. It is completely good to go. And as you can see, guys, it was that fast. That is how much time it took me to put together an Alexi Mini LF. Now, one thing I wanna do is show you now some of the peripherals. This is kind of a base operating. You could go run and gun. That took me less than five minutes. And now I was talking, so that could take a little more time, but that's how long it takes. It's that fast. Now, another great thing about the RE systems, and this is general for the RE systems before, is they do have an elbow built into them, which allows you to hook up, basically, you can do a full FIZ, follow focus, iris, and zoom control right here. It's all powered from there. You don't have to hook up any other things, and it's good to go. So, we can basically take that, and we'll slip a rod in here, take my follow focus. I can just pop it right in there. And we'll put it right there. Boom, super simple as you can see, just like everything with Ari. The red here, the red cable, look for the red eye. The red eye points to you, right? You're observed by the red eye. So make that red eye out. I want this to be on my focus. I'll put it there. And the great thing is, once again, I'll look here. I'll find the red eye again. If I can find it in my light, there it is. And boom, voila. I have a whole system set up. And that is basically the setups for the Alexa Mini LF. Super simple, very, very fast, which is great. And as you can see, the only thing I haven't put on there, which is just something every one of y'all should know, is if you look, um, I'm not gonna go into all the outputs and stuff, but the RE comes really, really set. It's got two SDI outs on it, so you can really do different things. So you can just take your, whatever your monitor system is, whatever your wireless monitor system is, you can hook it up right there, pop it on there, and you're good to go. And so, the world's premier cinema camera, and you can set it up in less than 10 minutes. That's from popping it out of the box and going to go. But, just wanted to encourage you to go out there. This is a big camera, but it's not an intimidating camera. And I think, you know, if you're out there thinking about shooting with this, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't take this out there. Capture the vision the way you need to capture it and go forward. All right, guys, hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time.